Okay, we're back. We have our engine. This was dropped off this morning. It still has the paint dabs on the engine. When you go to larger events, they'll paint dab the bolts uh, once you run your heat race or qualifier so that they know that you, that you haven't been inside the engine or tampered with the engine. So in the manual, we're gonna skip to page seven, which is basic inspection. So what I'm doing is I'm just looking at the engine to see if there's anything on here from a visual standpoint that I don't really like. <clears throat> this carb adapter is an older, older style one. Uh, John, give me the new style one. The new style one is a bit longer. Um, we'll cover that in the uh, in the rules when we look at that. So that's something that you know calls my eye to it that I would look at. And then um, I'm looking at the fan right here, the spacing to the shroud. The spacing to the shroud, they make shorter fans and um, they don't call out a dimension in the book, but they do call out that it should be a UT3 fan. And then the last thing I wanna point out, um, here's the fans. So if you look at the side profile, um, this is a smaller fan out in front, and this is the bigger fan back here. This will, the smaller fan will move less air and restrict the engine less, but this is an illegal fan. This is the correct fan for uh, a 120. Okay, and then I want to point out here, which I like this, on the gear shaft, um, somebody has drilled the end of it and tapped it. I like that because it keeps the gear on there and you don't ever have to worry about it coming off during a race. Okay, so we're going to get this back on the stand. And, um, this, uh, this is a homemade stand that I had made. It's really nice for checking timing and assembling the engine because it puts the cylinder in an upright position and most of the time that's where you're working is off of this valve cover from the top of the engine okay while he's doing that we'll talk about restrictor plates this red plate is a red rookie um, restrictor plate if you see how small the hole is in there that's how much it's restricting the airflow into the engine um, the carburetor is like 500 thousandths, and this hole is, which is like a half inch, this is like a 312, so 5 sixteenths. And they say to use a pin gauge, but I don't have a pin gauge, and I'm looking at it too. If, the, if somebody altered this on the inside edge, the um, anodizing would be ground off or wore off. I have heard of people putting... A tool in there and stretching it out but you would see a mark in there if they did so let's just measure this restrictor plate the dimension should be less than 312.5 and it's 311 okay so that is a legal red rookie if you're a red rookie that's the plate you use now, if we step up to the next plate, which is the blue plate. Both of these plates, too, have a date on it. This says 1116. So that's 2016. This one says 517. In the manual, it, gives a, it used to give a date of when they were good till. John will look that up while we measure this one. It says 09, it has to be made after 2009. So both of these are legal plates. This, 
This measurement is 4375. This plate measures 436. Now that's a quick, that's a real quick check. This comes out really fast at the track. The tech guy can check that in seconds with a caliper. They call out a pin gauge. They change that rule. I don't know why. I mean, if we're, if, if this thing was blown out big, you're going to find it with this caliper just fine. But it's their rules and we're playing by their rules. I don't have a pin gauge for that. But um, I can show you what a pin, pin gauge looks like if you grab one off the table. This is what a pin gauge looks like. It has a pin, and on this it says 456. And it measures 455.5. So again, the caliper is a half a thou off. The other side's 454. And it measures 453.5 so again that's that's your pin gauge and when we're we're talking about thousandths of an inch let me give you an idea of what a thousandth of an inch is okay this piece of paper is three and a half thousandths so for all of you that don't know, three and a half thousandths is a sheet of paper. I think a human hair don't off go, of your head go there. <laughs> is like two thousandths of an inch. So when they say, you know, it's a hair big, you know, that's, that's a small measurement. Okay, so we covered restrictor plates. Now we're going to take off the exhaust pipe and... Um, Now on the exhaust pipe, you can use the header wrap like that's on this pipe. That's legal. And that keeps you really from burning yourself and keeps holds the temperature in the pipe. Now this is your typical S style pipe for quarter midget. I know there's been some other designs that have looked like a candy cane. Um, I don't think the rules say anything about the design. They just want this length of this pipe to be, I think it's 20 inches, but I could, it's, what's funny is it's not in the same spot. I know, they jumbled it around, but we'll find it in a minute. Just keep going. Okay, and then I know this one, this muffler, it used to say one turn from hand tight. So you won't be able to tell unless you pop the spring off. The spring is there to keep, keep the muffler from twisting. Half turn. What's that? It says half turn. I thought it was half one turn. inch. No, half turn. Oh, really? Half turn from tight. Sometimes they change it. It was a one turn and then it was a half turn. Okay, with my Sharpie. I did not alter the position. So I'm going to draw a line right here. And then we'll draw a line right there. Okay. And then we're going to tighten it. Oh my God, one. Two, I'm going the wrong way. Three, oh, you're going the right way. Four, five, <laughs> six, and a half. You're DQ'd right there. You're out. You're done. That's way out of the spec. Now, a half turn from hand tight or tight, what is the new rule? Half turn. From what? Half turn. The words matter. From what? Read me the rule. 
he's got to find it again. Half turn from tight, I believe. Half turn from tight. That's about, this is down here. And if we move it back to our mark, that's a half turn from tight. Okay. So this pipe would have been, that would have, okay, right here. Muffler must not be more than a half turn from being tight. Okay, so whatever we counted, six now, turns. Now here's what's interesting about that. You can still get this a half turn by, you could sand both the inside and outside threads and it'll still be a half turn and it'll leak a whole lot more rather than being five and a half turns loose and getting a right. DQ. But whoever, the manufacturer, the guy that makes the pipes, he welds this bung on here and he welds this bung on here. He knows the rules a half turn from hand tight. So usually he welds those bungs so that they line up for your spring. So it's just something for you to check. Okay, so write that down, DQ number one on this bad boy. Okay, now we're gonna talk about the flange on the pipe. Flange, 250 thick. Okay, and this measures 250 plus or minus 245 right there. So the flange thickness is good. Okay, now it says no steps or tapers allowed. Grinding marks are not allowed past the 250 flange thickness. Okay, so we can see in this pipe, if we get a close up of the carbon, that's right on this edge and right on that edge. Okay, so the exhaust is hitting this pipe at, at those areas and it is restricting some amount of flow. How much that is, I don't know, because I don't have a flow bench. But if this was my pipe within the 250, <clears throat> I would angle that all the way around this flange to be an angle, but you cannot go inside the pipe and you cannot transition into the pipe. Okay, that's all you can do. If you grab my pipe off there, I can show you. <clears throat> so my pipe has a transition from here to there and all the way around. But you can clearly see by the edge of it, with the end of your mic, it's 190, I know it, because I'm the one that did it. Okay, well it measures 110 there, 160 there. I think 170 was the max I went because I didn't want somebody going in there. And 160 there. there cause the rules say that you can taper that, that flange. Okay, so that's that. Now the next rule is the length of the pipe. Did somebody find the length of the pipe? Was it 20 inches? Okay. Sometimes the rules aren't always in the same is section. It 20? No. Off site diameter with the length of 20 inches to 26 inches, including the threaded pipe couplers as well as on the end of the pipe, in order to attach the muffler to the pipe. Okay, so it's 20 to 26. And we're going to put a mark on a hose. Okay, so that's the legal part. What page are you on? Five. Oh, okay. It's saying to the outside flange, right? I haven't found it yet. Oh yeah, here it is. So we're gonna slip this into the pipe. There's our hose at the other end. And it falls within our dimension. Our dimension was 20 to 26 right there. So that's how you measure the length of the pipe. And the maximum diameter of the pipe is one inch. Did you check that? 
It's hard with the header wrap on here, but there we go, we slid it back. And the pipe is one inch three thousand. So that's typical because one inch two thousand. Okay, so that's good. So the pipe is good. The muffler was not good. And we'll move on with life. Okay, what's the next thing on our list? Internal inspection, good, yes. 